everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Wow, this is a little bit of a random one, but you know what? I'm going out today because every like couple of weeks I like to take my grandma out um, just to get her out of the house, just to go for lunch, just to catch up. It's just so nice to see her. If I can do every week, then I would, but obviously sometimes I'm just busy with work than others, but I always make it like a thing that even if I am so busy and stacked out, like I just make a day in the week where I go out for lunch with her or we do some shopping or whatever and obviously now that she's allowed to come out um which obviously she's been you know gagging to get out because she was in lockdown for so long yeah it's just really nice so yeah anyway it's wednesday today i'm really suffering with this altar still i mentioned it in my primark call which i don't know if that will be live before this or after but oh my god you know when it's like right ah oh, it's like right in my lip here and it just really hurts like when i'm talking i feel like i'm almost chewing it and biting it I don't even know. Um, but yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I just thought I'd pick up the camera and vlog today. I don't know how much I'll vlog when I'm out because, you know, I'm a little bit of a scaredy cat when it comes to vlogging in public places. But yeah, just thought it'd be nice. Little bit chilled. The weather has took a little bit of a turn for the worse today, uh, which, do you know what? I'm not actually that mad about. Um, I really enjoyed having a little bit of sunshine over the past week, which was so unexpected because I feel like we was all like, oh, autumn's here. It's going to start raining and being cold and we can all get our cozy knitwear out. Um, and then we just had a blast of like heat, which I really enjoyed it was so nice to well it wasn't nice to have to get out all of my summer stuff that I just chucked away for um, autumn winter but it was nice in the same breath you had to feel the heat anyway I am rambling not really making much sense this lighting it's absolutely awful I've just chucked the can't even speak I've just chucked the most minimal makeup on today as well I've just put Laura Mercier right this is my new little routine for makeup right I put Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer on um all over and then literally it is just bronzer little bit of blush um mascara and i use the bronzer as just like a little bit of eyeshadow as well and then obviously lipstick as always and that's it it literally takes me 10 minutes to do it's so easy and yeah just thought i'd let you know about that oh god guys it's also um let me show you this as well <laughs> this is really random but i just thought i'd show you um let me just turn the camera around actually are we focused? Um, I picked this rug up. Rug? What the hell am I on about? It's not a rug. It's a fro. Soft, cuddly fro. Large. Oh, my God. It is literally the softest thing ever. So, you're probably thinking, why have you got a brown fro? Like, it's like a light brown fro. Actually, it's called natural, but it's definitely like a light brown. Um, I actually picked this up for Mitchell because he's got this absolute minging fro. Do you know when someone's had a fro for so long and it goes like all matted and it just feels horrible to touch and oh my god yeah it's vile so I thought you know what I'm going to treat him to a new fro. I got this from Amazon guys so I will link it just in case you want to see. But yeah anyway that is that. Just thought I'd intro this vlog before I get on out. Um, I'm going to go and nip over to Leicester now to knit my, gr to knit my grandma. To <laughs> I can't even speak. Let me start again. I'm going to nip over to Les now to go and pick up my grandma. Um, we are going to go to Foss Park because she wants to go to Mark and Spencer's Blesser and get a new nightie. So we're going to go there first and then we're going to go out for lunch. I think we're meeting my mum about one-ish because mum finishes work then. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for today. God, this light, guys, it makes me look like I've got the worst bags in the world. Have I got bags? Anyway, here is my little outfit of the day. I've actually not curled my hair today, guys. It's from yesterday. Um, so I love it when that happens. You know when you do your hair the day before and you can literally just not have to go over it the next day? So yeah, what, I don't know why it's so dark, but this is what I'm wearing. This is from Primark. Honestly, it's like one of them shackets, but I'm actually wearing it as a bit of an oversized dress. Um, I have put like little cycle shorts underneath just, you know, just in case, just feel a bit more comfortable. Um, and then I've just got these chunky boots on, which I love. Like, I love these. I know some people hate them, but I love them. Bag is Zara. And yeah, it just feels like such a cozy, nice, chilled attire for today because it is a little bit cooler and i think it actually may be raining um right anyway i'm gonna pick up my grandma before i end up really late i always do this um so yeah hope you enjoy the vlog guys i don't know how many days i'm gonna be vlogging for this week but we will just go with the flow and yeah hopefully it's interesting for you so me and grandma are in marks and spencer's cafe you can say hi <laughs> oh no, you could no you you're gonna put it back on soon anyway. You're allowed to take it off when we're sitting down, aren't we? <laughs> 
So we've just had a little coffee stop. Grandma's put in, how many sweeteners have you put in? Three. Three. <laughs> Look how nice Grandma's hair looks today, everyone. She's done it. It does, it looks so good. I honestly thought, you know when you got in the car, I was going to say to you, have you had your hair, um, like the woman ran, Jade's blow dry oh, you yet? Mean, uh, Kirsty, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks like she's like. That's a really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the hair dry on, blasted. <laughs> it looks good. So yeah, we're just having a little coffee. Um, this is just like a little cafe when you um, walk in, so it doesn't have the cups, does it? Um, we've got little disposable ones. So we're gonna have a coffee and then we're gonna do some shopping. Is, is your mum joining us for something to eat? Yeah. Yeah, so she finishes at one-ish, so then she's gonna come in and... Um... I said, it's easy if you tell her to come from her way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they did mine. Did they? Yeah. Yes, they had it. They had the potatoes in the little. Um, did they? Separate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So I don't actually know what is going on with my hair. Oh my god, my makeup looks awful. I'm gonna have to quickly touch it up in a second. Um, I feel like mask life honestly just ruins makeup. There's no point of wearing makeup, to be completely honest, when you wear a mask because it just goes everywhere, doesn't it? Does anyone else find that? Um, but yeah, I am back home now. I've been home for around about an hour. I've just been sorting bits and bobs out opening packages, sitting down. Do you know what? Sitting down when you get back in, when you've still got things to do, is a no-go. Because honestly, I sat down and was like, oh, I feel so tired. And all I've done is just like walk around shops. Does anyone else feel like them days where you don't actually do an awful lot are the killers? Like they're the ones that make you so tired. Um, but anyway, I have got filming to do now. So what is the actual time? It is half past four. So I've got filming. Well, I've actually got just try on clips to do. So I've got Primark try on clips to do. Everything, I've got hair on my face, as always. Everything five pound try on clips, Primark try on clips, um, and then I've got to edit my Primark to get it up for tonight. So I'm gonna get it up for around about six o'clock. So I'm thinking, half an hour to do Primark try ons, and now to edit and upload, mm, that's gonna be pushing it. it. Might be on for seven, actually. Um, I've left it until last minute today, obviously, because I didn't realize I was gonna be out until so late. Um, but it's all good, I'll get it done. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd tune back in, let you know what I'm up to. Um, what was I going to show you? Oh, I thought I'd quickly show you actually the couple of bits I got when I was out. I mean, I didn't get a lot, but I'll show you what I did get. So, don't mind me in the mess and everywhere at the moment. I do need to give the house a little tidy. So, just thought I'd come in my office and show you what I picked up from Marks and Spencer's. This doesn't go here, guys. I'm having a bit of a struggle, right? So, I bought this, like, plant stand from HomeSense, but I don't know what plants put in it. Like... Obviously, this one is too small. Um, so, yeah, if anyone's got any ideas how you make this work, then do let me know. I mean, it is cute. I love the plant. I think it was £8 from Marks & Spencer's. So, yeah, not bad. It is actually a real one as well. But I don't know. It's not really working. I really like the um, plant pot it comes in as well. I thought that was quite cute. So, yeah, anyway, picked up that. Let me go and show you what else I've got. Go down the hallway. Hallway? Is it the hallway? Yeah, it is the hallway, Laura. Okay, and then I just picked up some roses from Marks & Spencer. These were £3. Um, I've been really liking just buying fresh flowers. I literally buy them every two weeks. So the last pair, the last pair, <laughs> the last lot I brought were from da -da 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 -da, Asda. They were £2 and they've honestly lasted me for two weeks. They're actually still in the vase. I'll show you them. So yeah, let's hope M&S can last for two weeks as well. But I just think like a couple of quid, fresh flowers, look nice in the vase. You can't go wrong. Okay, and then next up, <laughs> I also picked up some muscle soak. Oh my goodness, guys. I went to the gym yesterday, did leg day, and I really like up my weights. I thought, right, I need to up my weights. Um, I really wanted to feel my workout, but I think I went too heavy because today I am throbbing. Like, I can't even walk. So, yeah, that's that. Um, and then I just picked up a beauty blender, and they did this, like, really cool mint green one. I think it's a limited edition. So, yeah, I thought I'd grab that because go through a lot of them i mean i do wash them but after a while they just go tatty don't they so i treat myself to a new one and then i also just got some i got these the other day actually but they were in my car so i just grabbed them out speed wet cloths by flash my speed mark and then oh my goodness how cute is this guys my grandma and um, picked me some tomatoes out of her garden and she brought them along with her which i just thought was the cutest thing ever so yeah got some little cherry tomatoes there then 
Thought I'd quickly show you one I got my grandma for her birthday as well. She's already seen this because obviously she picked it out. But yeah, she picked out this little jumper, which is just so cute. It's like polka dot. It feels so super soft as well. It does say super soft. Um, and then she wanted a new blusher. So obviously I didn't realise, but when you go makeup shopping now, you can't actually try any makeup on. Um, wait, 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 wait. Oh my goodness. Why are you just the cutest? Let me just zoom in here. As if he's just sitting on the sofa like that. Guys, how freaking cute. Excuse me the mess, I've not tied it up. But oh my goodness, buddy, you're just the cutest. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, so yeah, with makeup, they don't have no samples and testers out now. So you literally can't see any colours or dead. Yeah, you just can't test any bit. So I asked the girl at Benefit, um, if she could help us out because grandma wanted a new blush. Yeah, anyway, what they do with the blushes, guys, is they do have samples around the back, but they literally just have to put them on your hand. So they get like, um, I think it was a bit of like kitchen roll or something. And they literally swipe the blusher. Swipe? Swap? I don't even know what you say. Um, but yeah, they do that with the blusher, then put it on your hand, and then that's how you see the colours. But um, anyway, got her a blusher from Benefit. So that's my grandma's present. Really cute. And then, oh my goodness, we have a little boo down here. Why are you just so incredibly cute? If you're wondering, by the way, why the mat isn't here, um, it's because the cat kept pooing on it. Like, I think he thought it was his litter tray or something, so I've just took it away temporarily until he remembers that it's not to poo on. It wasn't you, was it? It was your brother. Yes. You're just the cutest thing. Who's this? <gasps> Who's this? Is this your friend? Okay, I'll put him there. Right, anyway, guys, I've got to get cracking. So I will check in with you soon and I'm gonna go and do some filming. Good evening guys. So just thought I would very quickly check on and back in with you because you know, I'm trying to be like a pro vlogger over here. Just remember to actually vlog my days. Oh my God, I'm still struggling with this also. So again, if I look like I'm talking funny, my mouth's moving funny, it is because it's literally right on my lip almost. It's really painful. Um, but yeah, time is now 6.40. Um, I must have finished filming about oh about 20 30 minutes ago now um but i've just been sorting out content for instagram i'm really really trying to make it a thing where i just regularly upload um i feel like with instagram it's one of them where you have to be consistent with it else you just don't get anywhere um but it's so hard like i mean i know i do youtube full time so people would think oh well you only upload like two to three videos a week again that's something that I feel like people don't really understand sometimes because one video can take you two days to film. Honestly, that's literally the reality of YouTube. Oh, that's better. I feel like we've got some lighting from my laptop. But yeah, genuinely, like one video on YouTube can take you two days to film. So you think if you do two videos in a week, that's four days. Plus, obviously, you have all your admin to do, like invoicing, emailing brands, picking items off websites. Like, honestly, all these things add up and take so much time. Um, so, I mean, like, when you look at it and think, oh, two videos in a week, oh, that's not a lot. When you actually see and realise how much time goes into filming, editing, uploading, it is a lot. Um, so yeah, anyway, what was I actually saying? So yeah, to then fit a day of shooting in, I mean, it's not unmanageable, I can definitely fit it in. I just think to myself, is it actually worth going and doing street style? I feel like street style does get reposted a lot more on Instagram, um, but obviously a lot more effort goes into street style. Um, but sometimes I feel like my likes are higher, my engagement's higher on just my standard mirror selfie ones. So I'm a little bit unsure at the moment where to go with my Instagram, what to do. Um, I feel like just lately I haven't really had much of a theme going on with my Instagram. I've just been sort of posting whatever I sort of fancy. Um, so I don't know whether to take it more down a route of street style and then like mix it up with, I don't know, like a coffee picture or a selfie or something like that. So yeah, anyway, it's just such a hard one. I feel like Instagram is such a hard platform to grow on. Like, honestly, I have what? How many like followers do I have on Instagram? Let me have a look. 46,000, right? I have never, ever bought a follower. I have never, ever, you know, a lot of people pay for like paid promotions on um, like fashion things and stuff, which to be fair, I'm not really against because it's not like you're buying new followers, you're just paying to promote yourself on a page. And I guess like they're genuine people that do come across and follow you. Um, but I've never done any of that. These are literally just genuine followers. 
and I say this because honestly, let me tell you now, a lot of YouTubers buy their followers, a lot of social media influencers that don't do YouTube buy their followers. I've seen girls, right, um, go from 40,000, like be on the exact same following as me, and in the space of two months, go to 150,000. Let me tell you now, that doesn't happen. Like that does not happen unless Kylie Jenner has reposted you or you've just gone on a TV show. You do not grow. Like it is so rare to grow by 100,000 followers in a space of two months. Like it just, honestly, it doesn't really happen. And it's funny because when I've noticed it with a lot of these people, I will look at their followers and it's all random accounts with no followers, uh, no pictures. They're just the most random accounts following them. And I know, like straight away, I'm like, they're clearly bots or they bought the followers. Sorry guys, my camera cut off there. But yeah, as I was saying, it's just so frustrating because some brands, I mean, a lot of brands are getting tighter and tougher on it and, and, you know, figure it out, but some don't. And I always feel like when you have, like when you look like you've got more followers, People follow you off the back of that, if that makes sense. So let's say if you've got 100,000 fake followers, someone might stumble across you and be like, oh, who's this? And then they follow you. So I do feel like it does enable these people to get a few like genuine followers too. Anyway, I don't even know how we've got on this conversation of fake followers and people that buy followers for Instagram and stuff. I was just basically trying to make you aware, if you wasn't already, that it is a thing. There's so many big YouTubers, big Instagrammers that buy their followers. Um, and what I was trying to say is that it's just sometimes a little infuriating when you work so hard to grow your Instagram organically and you know, it just takes ages, like nothing really happens. But anyway, in regards to Instagram, let me know what you guys like to see, like what photos do you like looking at more for fashion inspiration? Do you like street style? Do you like mirror selfies? Like are you not bothered? Um, so yeah, let me know on that because I would be interested actually just to hear like your perspective and what you like to see on Instagram. Because I guess in a way, it doesn't really matter where the photo is taken. If someone's got good style, like you get the inspo, right? Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts because obviously I have my fashion page, then so I've got my home page, which I'm trying to be a lot more active on. But yeah, I really, really want to grow on my Instagram. Like I just want to get to 50,000 by the end of the year and I'd be just so happy. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to make a conscious effort to be posting on that. So that's what I was doing. Just made myself a nice cup of tea. This mug is from H&M, just in case you wanted to know. I don't know if they actually have this now, but mm, you never know if mind. Um... Also grabbed myself a cheeky snack because I'm doing some editing. I'm having a little bit of an evening of work. Just because I've been out today, like in the morning. This is the great thing about working self-employed. If ever I do have like, you know, half a day out of the house, I will just work later on into the evening until about nine or whatever. So yeah, I'm so lucky in that respect of, you know, I can choose my working hours. And yes, okay, I have had a lovely day going out with my grandma today and I haven't worked um, for the majority of the day. But as soon as I've got back at like four o'clock, I have you know, picked up work then, so it's just different working hours, I guess. But yeah, I've got myself a cheeky snack to keep me motivated during this evening of editing. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get around to making dinner tonight, to be completely honest. I might just have something little later on when I do finish. Um, but yeah, grab myself a blooming Orange 12, guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this. Actually, do you know what? I think this deserves a taste test because um, I actually ordered this off Amazon. So basically it was time of the month of the week and I don't know if anyone else relates to this, but I crave sugar, chocolate and crap when it's time of the month. Like honestly, I eat so much when I'm on. Um, and I was really craving chocolate orange buttons. I don't know if anyone's seen them or if anyone could tell me where I can get some from, but oh my God, I saw someone have them on Instagram and all I wanted was chocolate orange buttons, but could I get them anywhere? No, I must have drove to like four supermarkets couldn't get them. So I saw <laughs> the other day that they do chocolate orange twirls now. What is it with all this chocolate orange stuff? So yeah, I went and ordered some on Amazon. And to my surprise, Mitchell actually surprised me today and told me that he's ordered me some chocolate orange buttons um, from Amazon. Paid over the odds for him, but he was like, babe, I've got a surprise for you. Do you know how you've been going on about these chocolate orange buttons? Because believe me, when I say I've been going on about these chocolate orange buttons, I really have. They've just been on my mind, guys. Like, they are like the ultimate chocolate for when you're just on the sofa in the evening, you've got a cup of tea, and you just want a little bit of like picky chocolate, you know? So yeah, I'm so excited for them. I think, I don't know when they arrive, but I'm sure he'll bring them over when they do. 
Sorry, I had to go in there. I didn't even do any run up to that, did I? Oh my god. This is epic. Like, what the hell? I'm sorry, but that has to be up there with one of the best chocolates I've ever had. Oh my god. Guys, these are only like 80p on Amazon as well. They weren't even like overpriced, I didn't think. I feel like they're normally 80 in the store. I'm literally just sat here rabbiting onto you guys and I feel like the lighting's probably gonna get a bit crap because it is getting darker now. That's when you know that autumn is arriving, when you have darker mornings and darker evenings early. Um, so yeah, I need to really crack on with this video and start editing. So I'm gonna go. But yeah, we'll pick up tomorrow, guys. We'll catch up tomorrow, you know. I'm really into this vlogging now. I feel like, do you know what it is with vlogging? I feel like I just get to chat to like my friends in the evening. Like I'm all alone, I live on my own. And um, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit lonely. So I feel like with doing like weekly vlogs, it just, I don't know. <laughs> that sounds so sad, doesn't it, right? I'm gonna shut up and crack on with this. Anyway, I will probably pick up the vlog tomorrow now, unless I make something for dinner and show you that, or unless I've got any further updates or anything to tell you about. But yeah, I'll catch up with you soon, guys. Good afternoon, guys. So it is the next day now. I'm not actually sure if the footage I filmed yesterday, vlog-wise, will be included before this. So you'd have saw me out and about with my grandma, which was quite brief, actually. Um, and then I actually went to film yesterday, but I had such a bad day, mentally, health-wise. Do you know those days that it's basically just a write-off? Like, I ended up in bed at about four o'clock. I just called it a day and said today was a new day. So yeah, I don't actually know if I'll include the footage that I filmed yesterday because I ended up having a bit of a breakdown, meltdown on camera and getting really upset and crying. And yeah, it just wasn't a good day to be honest with you guys. But I just thought I'd briefly speak about that and just let you know what went on because I always think it's good to talk about things like this because it is reality and yeah, I know a lot of people on YouTube just want to show the highlights and the greatness of their life, but um, I like to just keep it real um, because I know hopefully a lot of you will be able to relate to this sort of stuff too. So yesterday, I wasn't feeling well. I haven't actually been feeling well for the last week. I have just felt exhausted. Um, I've been going to bed earlier. Like I've been doing everything I possibly can to not be exhausted, but it's just been seeming like no matter how much sleep I get, no matter how healthy I eat or what I do, I've just been constantly exhausted and just not feeling great. Um, and then it wasn't until yesterday that I started getting lower abdomen pains. But yeah, if you guys have been following me for a while and was with me last year when I was on Instagram, I mean, I've been on Instagram for ages, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. But basically last September, I was really poorly poorly for about four to five weeks, I genuinely thought, like, this is not an exaggeration, I genuinely thought I had something very seriously wrong with me. I never felt pain like it, and it was really weird because earlier in the year, in the February, I'd had the same pain um, and it's sort of gone away. So I didn't get checked out in February of last year, but thought, this just isn't right, like I've never had pain like this, I've never felt so exhausted and tired. So that just ended up going away. Then it came back in the September, and again, I was really, really poorly, to the point that I just couldn't get out of bed, I was in bed for a long time. Um, I ended up going to the doctors. They did a lot of tests because they were obviously really concerned. My doctors, by the way, are just absolutely amazing. Like the woman that I see, she always gets me in straight away for tests and ultrasounds and she's just really hands on, which I'm so grateful for. Like she doesn't, I feel like some doctors, they can be a bit blase, can't they? Like you know your own body, so. Anyway, went away to test, they all come back clear, they were testing for cancer, ovarian cancer they were, um, so thank God for that, like they came back clear, um, and she basically came to the conclusion that I had endometriosis, so I then got referred for an ultrasound, but basically I started feeling better, so I didn't end up going for the ultrasound, I don't actually think my letter came through, I think I needed to chase it up, and um, yeah, I didn't end up chasing it up, because I was like, oh I'm better now, and yeah, that was it really. But anyway, the reason why I know more or less that I have endometriosis is when I went for my test results, it was like, okay, so these have all come back clear. Um, I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure that you've got something called endometriosis. Like we won't know 100% without ultrasound. And I think sometimes they even have to do keyhole surgery because it doesn't pick up on ultrasounds. Like it's quite a hard thing to diagnose. Not many people get like 
officially diagnosed with it as well because there's all different like levels of like severity with endometriosis i feel like as mine has been so intermittent i'm obviously not on that like severe scale i know some girls that have contacted me on instagram suffer with this like daily like every day like it's a battle so yeah i'm lucky in that sense so yeah never went and chased it up and got like an official diagnosis but i'm 90 percent sure in myself it is that like i get severe lower abdomen pains like when i wee it hurts as well um what else do i have tiredness to be honest with you like fatigue for me like chronic fatigue i have just never experienced anything like it you just can't motivate yourself you can't get out of bed honestly you can have all the sleep in the world and you still just feel shattered like it's awful i just wouldn't wish it on anyone so yeah anyway that was yesterday so once i sort of recognized that and clicked oh my god this is what's been going on for the past week um because i started having the lower abdomen pain um i then just took myself to bed but obviously alongside that i had a really bad day yesterday with my body dysmorphia so again if you guys have watched past vlogs i did speak about this not so long ago about you know looks and feeling down and just not being happy with myself um i did say obviously i was going to go and get therapy that isn't something that i've done yet i'm still sort of like um and ahhing about it some weeks i'm fine i'm like no i don't need it i'm okay and then again it hits me like a ton of bricks and i get in a real low place um so yeah anyway i'm not going to ramble on about that for too much longer but i just thought i'd pick up the camera and continue vlogging today because Today I told myself it's a new day, even if I do feel exhausted, shattered and I'm in pain, I just need to get out and do something um, and I do still feel exhausted today, I'm still struggling, I've got really bad pains. So yeah, anyway, I thought it'd be nice just to get out this afternoon, I'm going to go to Starbucks, pumpkin spice lattes are back now and I've not had one this year so I really want one of them to cheer me on and then I also am going to take a little trip to Primark because I've got a couple of returns to do. Um, what am I even returning? There was only a couple of things actually i kept quite a lot from my last haul i wasn't supposed to i was like right you can't like all of this does anyone else do this obviously you can't try things on in primark at the moment so if i see something i have to get it but i was like no i can't keep all of this like there's way too much here but then i ended up trying all of the stuff on obviously because i did a haul and ended up liking pretty much 80 percent of it yeah i've only got a little bit to return so i'm gonna do that but yeah just thought i'd take you on for the ride anyway let's just get out <laughs> okay so the lighting in here is just shocking but i have just got to prime up first part now so i'm gonna go in um like i said i haven't got an awful lot to return i'm just returning the jeans because i don't know like i didn't love love them there was a little bit of a darker wash for me and yeah do you know when you just don't love something so i'm returning them also returning the white puffy puffy stuff i can't even speak the white puffy top because again i just didn't really think i'd wear that and then i'm also returning um the black sort of like cargo -y trousers i had them in khaki as well so yeah i'm returning them as well just because i love them on but i feel like i need a size 10 um they were in almost like a suede fabric like it was a weird fabric and they were just so tight and clingy not tight like they just fitted on they were like a fitted style but i wanted them a little bit looser if that makes sense so anyway i'm gonna see if i can get a size up in them um but yeah anyway probably won't vlog inside because i'm on my own and it's a little bit scary got my mask somewhere so yeah let me show you the outside sneakily. So yeah, here it is guys. If you've never seen the outside of Primark Cross Park, it's only two floors. Um, I feel like it's fairly big though. It's not like huge compared to say like Manchester or Birmingham, uh, but it's not a bad Primark. I've been into a lot worse. Do quite like the layout of this store. Um, yeah, it's not bad. So anyway, let's go in. Okay guys, please excuse my face. I've just had my face mask on. Does anyone else relate when you wear your face mask um, and then take it off, all your makeup's just everywhere. Um, just come out of Primark. Oh my God, I feel so weak. Do you know when all of a sudden you get like a, I don't even know what it is, just a sudden wave of no energy, you need to eat, you feel so faint. And that's how I feel. What have I had today? I've had a shake and a wrap. Probably not that much actually. So yeah, gonna head to Starbucks now and get my pumpkin spice frappuccino, which I'm so excited for. Um, but yeah, anyway, did my returns in Primark. I only had three, four things to return and obviously ended up coming out with another bag. To be fair, there wasn't loads of exciting things in there was a few exciting things on like posters do you ever see the posters in primark of like 
the models dressed in Primark. Like I saw so many posters in there that were like new posters and they were all like autumn winter posters of obviously new things that are gonna come in. And oh my God, there were some really nice outfits, but I couldn't find them in there. So yeah, I feel like exciting things are coming to Primark. I did manage to get the gray jacket that I really wanted. So yeah, I actually saw this on a Facebook group called Primark Hall. I come across it the other day and basically signed up to it and people upload like the new things in Primark and let you know like what's new in Primark. It's brilliant, love it. So I saw that someone shared this and I was like, oh my God, I need, um, there was like a picture of this and like the other jacket that I own. So I was like, oh my God, I've not saw the gray one, but yeah, it was in Primark. How much was this? I feel like they're like 20 pounds, I'm gonna say. Yeah, 20, but I think that's really good value. Such good quality. I get mine in a size small. Love, love, love that. I will show you the rest when we're at home, but let's get Starbucks because I need some food and yeah, I might even get a toasty because I'm that hungry. Oh my goodness. Guys, I am at the Starbucks drive through uh, Leicester Forest East and I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Like I was saying, I felt so freaking weak in Primark, like weak to the point that I just thought I was gonna faint. Do you know that feeling? I'm sure a lot of you probably have had this before where, I don't know, like all of a sudden you just have that faint feeling, like you need food, you just feel dizzy that's how i was feeling so i even went for a large which i know contains a lot of calories um so for reference i have the pumpkin spice frappuccino with soy milk and oh my god they have vegan cream as well now like normally i will just have dairy cream because i love my frappuccinos with dairy cream but she was like we have vegan cream i was like whoa so yeah that is what i've gone for oh my goodness I feel like pumpkin spice frappuccinos are very much like a love or hate thing obviously they do have that sort of like spicy undertone too which i know a lot of people don't love but i just personally love it like i love cinnamon swirls i just love that spicy that spicy what it, i don't even know how you describe it but i'm pretty sure you guys know what i mean it's sort of like the cinnamony spicy sort of taste that you get in things um mm. oh my god it's been a whole year a whole freaking year i can't believe it's been a whole year since i've had a pumpkin spice i just love these honestly i just think you have to make the best let me just try this vegan cream by the way mm. oh my god that tastes so good mm -mm. so by the way obviously i'm not vegan but i have like dairy free oh god sorry <laughs> spitting it everywhere i have dairy free because um it just agrees with me better and obviously with my endometriosis um i find that when i have dairy it gets worse like it flares it up and makes the pains a lot more worse um don't know if anyone else finds that but yeah so oh my god this is so good i'm really enjoying this i've got my toasty to eat as well i mean i've already had lunch today maybe i can't have dinner now i was just so hungry I I just feel like in these situations, guys, there's nothing you can do but eat. Like, you just got to be kind to yourself. I'm not someone that calorie counts like mad anyway. Like, I'll sort of roughly, like, count them up during the day and just sort of keep track of my food. But I'm not going to go mad at myself having a cheese toastie. And, oh, my God, cheese and ham toaster. Oh, this looks delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. I think I'll eat this off camera because I don't really like eating on camera to be honest with you but anyway as i'm saying my pumpkin spice i probably have a frappuccino i'd say once to twice a month like i said i'm the sort of girl that i treat myself i don't have one designated treat day if i want a frappuccino i'll have a frappuccino yep i know they're not the most healthy things in the world but i kind of enjoy life you know I'm not obviously going to have one every day and be excessive like that. I mean, but I'm not judging anyone that does. Um, but yeah, and I feel like especially during the autumnal season, you have to have a pumpkin spice. Maybe once a week. Maybe that might be a bit excessive. But I don't even care. Like, they only come out once a year, guys. So you have to make the most of these things. Oh, my God. I feel like every sip just keeps getting better and better. And people are watching me in the car now. Right, I'm going to have my um, toasty. I'll report back after I've had my toasty because I need some food in my belly right about now before I do collapse. <laughs> okay, 
guys, so a million hours later, I am finally home. We did take a little detour on the way home. That's why it's so dark outside from when I last spoke to you. It's actually only seven o'clock, but obviously autumn is hitting now because the dark nights have arrived. It's only gonna get darker earlier and earlier and earlier. But yeah, obviously because I went to the Fast Park Primark, which is in Leicester, for those of you that know, on the way home, um, I nipped into my mum's because it's literally on the way home. So I thought I'd nip in there because I actually had a couple of things to pick up. She got me a couple of things from, I was going to say Primark, no, Poundland. And I actually had something delivered to her house too, which I accidentally had delivered there. Obviously, I'd have it delivered to my address, but I paid via PayPal. And do you know that annoying thing when you leave your old address on something? I mean, it's not that annoying because I picked it up. <laughs> God, guys. Sorry if I sound so nasally, I genuinely don't know what's going on today, but I feel so blocked up and do you know when you can't breathe out of your nose and then you sound really nasally when you talk, that's how I'm feeling today. Um, do you know what, I'm going to take some cold and flu tablets just to prevent any cold. I feel like as soon as the cold weather hits, I'm the first to be shook down with like blocked up nose and everything. Anyway, oh my god, let me shut up and show you what I got. So. First thing I picked up from my mum's was something I ordered from Etsy. Oh my God, I love Etsy so much. I've always been a scroller on Etsy. Like one of them people that just scrolls on Etsy but never really buys anything. Just because whenever I feel like I do look on there, I'm always looking at seasonal stuff, which a lot of it is American. But I feel like this year, I've started exploring Etsy, more like UK based, if that makes sense. So like when I look for something, I'll type, in UK and then it brings up all the UK sellers which is a really good way to shop on Etsy. I mean not that I'm against buying from America or anything it's just that some things like cups and stuff are like £30 for delivery and they take a lot longer to cook. Anyway I wanted a seasonal Starbucks cup. You guys know if you watch my videos on the regular I'm a massive cold coffee fan. I always have a nice coffee in the beginning of my videos. I feel like lately it's been a cup of tea more so but um yeah i drink iced coffee come winter come summer any season so i really wanted one for the season ahead which is awesome so i got this one it's from a uk seller called animals wait all breeds animals i'm pretty sure she is uk and yeah she sold a ton of different autumn designed starbucks cups so i got this one which says hello pumpkin it's orange oh my god it's so cute and it's got these like gold leaves orange leaves it's so pretty and then it also has my name on the back again this like metallic gold color which says laura obviously <laughs> that's my name um but yeah i just love that so i will leave her etsy shop in the description so you can go check her out i love supporting like small businesses on there so yeah definitely check her out she did other designs as well i'm pretty sure so i grabbed that from my mom like i said because i had that delivered there and then my mom went into poundland the other day and obviously she knows i'm obsessed with like pumpkins and decorating my house and um, for autumn fall whatever you want to call it wherever you're from and um, and yeah she nipped into poundland and said she saw a couple of things that would be cute for my bathroom so as you guys know i've gone with like a white and green farmhouse eucalyptus vibe i don't even know what the vibe is called for my autumn decorating this year but anyway i've gone for that sort of color scheme but in the bathroom i'm still sticking to like orange and just autumn festivities so mum found this cute little orange glitzy um pumpkin i thought that was really cute and then she also got these little orange ones they're just mini glitter pumpkins but i thought these in particular would be really good for my bath rack as you guys know i go all out decorate my bath rack with like lush bath bombs halloween style and um, halloween style like body greens i mean do you know what i find really disappointing about the uk they only really have like one or two shops that sell like festive sort of scents like seasonal scents and like body creams and shower gels and stuff and that is body shop and lush whereas in the USA, they have all different shops that sell them. And they have like Bath and Body Works. Oh my God, don't even get me started. So anyway, I thought these little mini pumpkins would be really good to decorate my bath rack. Right, let me quickly get onto Primark now. I thought I would quickly show you a mini Primark haul because I'm guessing you're all gonna wanna know what I actually exchanged my stuff for. Oh my God, this is such an exciting purchase. I feel like this is my favorite purchase of the haul. So as I was saying in the car, I saw this on my Primark Facebook little group. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I needed it. And I knew it hadn't 
haven't been in the fast part primark yet because i mean i'm there every week at the moment so yeah anyway went in and they're currently in store in the fast primark so if you want one of these get there quick because i feel like they will sell out 20 pounds and yeah it's just this gorgeous gray shacket i am living for shackets this season i actually got this one last season from primark guys and i never wore it because i don't know what it was like i feel like i got it more at the end of the winter when it was too cold to wear it whereas i feel like a shacket is perfect for autumn i feel like as it gets colder they're not the warmest things i mean you could layer up and put like an oversized jumper dress or something underneath but yeah i feel like because i bought this towards the end of the winter when it was really really cold i just didn't get any wear out of it but today i finally worn it so i'm glad i kept it i knew there was a reason why i did keep this last season but yeah i just didn't get a chance to wear it so anyway picture this grey one I get mine in a size small which is a 10 to 12 and by doing so it just gives it that nice oversized fit and it also allows me to wear it like a dress so with my black and white checkered one if you've seen that I wore this like a dress done up with cycle shorts and then long boots oh my god such a vibe um, but you can wear it open and have like an outfit underneath too just love 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 this and it's such good quality too so that's the first thing i exchanged my stuff for i ended up spending more like i didn't even get a refund from my exchanged items i ended up having to pay 30 pound more towards all of this um then next up i picked up some faux leather trousers guys um i don't know what these are going to fit like i got them in a size eight i was like do i get an eight or a ten because sometimes with faux leather trousers as you guys know there's not really a lot of stretch to faux leather sometimes i feel like i have to size up but i don't know i feel like these look quite roomy um i really wanted the khaki ones i saw the other week and i did my come prime up with me but they were out of stock in my size they have some sizes in but not an eight so anyway i feel like these are the same as the khaki ones but obviously just in black but I really like these. I feel like they look quite good quality. Sometimes faux leather can look a bit plastic and cheap. But I feel like these look like quite a nice faux leather and a nice quality. I just think these go with absolutely everything in the autumn, winter months. You can never, you can never go wrong with a pair of black faux leather trousers in your wardrobe. So yeah, grabbed those. I did get quite a lot of basics here, guys. So yeah, bear with me. Um, and there's a lot of black as well. So right, next thing I got, these would be so good for work where, you know, like if I had a job, I mean, I don't have a job, but if I had like a nine to five, I'd be totally rocking these for the office. They're just a pair of smart trousers, but like smart casual trousers, if that makes any sense at all. So let me show you them. So they have this real gorgeous elasticated waistband, which is what I really like about them. I feel like this gives it the casual element to them with the drawstring, almost like jogger-esque. But then they go straight down. They have like a pleat in the center um, and they just go into like a straight leg. And I just feel like they're those smart joggers that's what i'm going to call them they're a smart jogger smart jogger trouser i feel like we need to add trouser in because obviously they're not like cuffed or anything at the bottom but yeah i just feel like these will be that ultimate comfy trouser i mean obviously i'll just style them for like day to day um but i feel like equally these would be so ideal for workwear because you could put a nice shirt with these some nice shoes um 13 pound got them in a size eight so really pleased with those and then i also got this blazer so i actually saw this blazer last time it is part of a two-piece i feel like the trousers are very similar to these actually that goes with them but obviously i'm not going to wear it as a suit but again workwear would be ideal and yeah anyway i picked up this blazer so to be honest with you i don't really know what i'm saying with this at the moment because I feel like I need to style it up, but I don't actually have like a real nice grey blazer in my wardrobe. Um, it doesn't have a button or anything, which is quite a shame, so it is quite open. But um, I mean, not that I button anything up anyway, but I just like the detailing of a button. But anyway, grab this in a 14. It is quite thin. It doesn't have shoulder padding or any structure to it, but I just thought it could be a nice chuck on grey blazer. Um, I'm going to play around with this and see how I can style it. So I don't know if this is going to be a definite keep at the moment, but it was only £15. So I just thought I'd grab it bring it home try and style it and then we shall go from there i've only actually got two more things guys and again the black and basic you guys just know my whole wardrobe is like black white gray beige that is literally it we have a pop of khaki maybe a bit of blue here and there but doesn't really get any more colorful than that just picked up another basic pair of trousers i feel like i've had some similar to this from primark before um just thought i'd get another pair to be fair I don't know whether these are going to wash quite bobbly. It seems like in that fabric, do you know when you wash it and it goes bobbly? But anyway, again, it's just a simple pair. It's sort of like jogger trousers, got the drawstring, elasticated waist, 
white stripe going down the side, pockets, and then they go into like a cuffed bottom. I just honestly live for trousers like this for every day. I would personally just team them with trainers, blazer to make it a little bit more smarter. Um, and yeah, job's good. In. So I grabbed those and they were 14 pound by the way, guys. 14, God, prices are going up. Um, and they also have a matching top, but I didn't see that. It says on the um, tag, matching top available. Okay, last thing I picked up was a, I don't even know at the moment because I'm struggling here, guys. What is going on? Oh my God, I need a glass of water. Oh, it's a bodysuit. I know what this is now. I thought this would be good for date night, actually. I feel like as the weather's getting colder, we are now entering the sort of bodysuit, trouser, heel combo for date night. Um, so I needed to invest in some more bodysuits. And I saw this one and I really, really liked it. So it's just simply this one shoulder ribbed bodysuit. And it also has this like cutout detailing here, which I thought was really cute. How does that actually go? Do you know what? I hate it when they... Um, have hanging loops in it just makes everything so complicated right how does this go laura i'm really confused i feel like it goes like that yeah but anyway i just thought this would be super cute like i said pair of faux leather trousers pair of wide leg trousers i just thought this little bodysuit for date night even jeans like denim jeans would look super cute with this and a pair of heels um and this was only eight pound got it in an extra small and yeah, just thought that'd be a nice little date night top. And that's your lot. That's everything I got from Primark. I'm speaking at a million miles an hour. I need to go grab myself a water and I'll be back to talk to you some more. <laughs> right, I'm back again, guys. Um, just had like a little bit of, I don't even know what I've actually been doing since I last vlogged. I've just been on my phone to be honest with you, put things away. We're gonna have a little tidy up. I need to empty my dishwasher, just normal like household things. I've still not even made myself a cup of tea, so. Just found my cup from earlier. I don't want to use a new one. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. And it's now 8 o'clock. So it's not too long after I last picked up the camera. Um, but I'm starting to get hungry now. I'm not going to lie. So what have I eaten today? I've had a shake in the morning. Because as I was saying, like, I had a really crap day yesterday. and Just been feeling a bit meh. So I thought this morning I'd get a nice fruit shake get some of my five a day so that had two of my five a day in banana and some berries and stuff <laughs> then for lunch i had just a corn chicken wrap they're the sweet smoky corn pieces oh my god they're unreal if you've never tried them um i get mine from asda in the frozen aisle just in case you're wondering i didn't actually have any salad to put in that so i didn't have any veg for lunch just had that in a wrap with some light sweet chili sauce and light mayo but to be fair that's really low calorie because my wraps are only like 90 no 100 calories sorry my wraps are and um not that I am calorie counting, like I said, I just know how many calories are in that. But yeah, I think in the free chicken, well, faux chicken strips, I think there's only like a couple hundred calories. I basically know that that wraps only like 300 something calories. It is very low calorie. So um, I feel like that's why I was so hungry when I was walking around Primark and I ended up having a cheese and ham toasty, which was a little naughty. And yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit hungry now. So I've got a lot of vegetables in from the weekend because I did a Sunday dinner. I always just overbuy. I had Mitchell's sister, wait, wait, who did I have around? There was me, Mitchell, his sister and her husband and his brother. Okay, got there in the end and I, you know, like when you're cooking for a couple of more people, yeah, I ended up buying quite a lot of veg and not needing it all. So I've got a lot of veg left over and I just thought, what can I make? So I want to have some veg now. I don't want to like have anything like unhealthy. I want something quite nutritional. So I just typed in like vegetable bakes. I'm just literally going to cook a load of veg and then I don't know if I fancy this or not, but it's like vegetable with a white sauce. Oh, it's just going to be too much, you know. Do you know what, guys? I actually might put this on the head now <laughs> anyway i was looking at this and it was like vegetable bay white sauce then breadcrumbs and cheese on top i mean i know there's a little bit of cheese but god don't kill me for the little bit of cheese you've got to like have something that's like tasty but yeah it sounds quite nice but oh, do you know what it's eight o'clock i just think i don't know if i can actually bother to make that now i don't know i feel like i'm gonna make something so just bear with me i'm gonna have another look i want something a little bit quicker actually <laughs> guys we've done a bit of a u-turn with cooking something I just think eight o'clock, I can't really be bothered to do a full dinner from scratch. Like it wouldn't take me that long to make the vegetable bake. All I've got to do is literally boil vegetables and make a white sauce. It's not that hard, but 
I'm sort of a bit like, do I actually fancy something that big? I don't actually think I do. Do you know sometimes when you're just in between, am I hungry, am I not, am I hungry, am I not? Like, I, I don't feel overly hungry, but I feel like I need something, you know? So, this hummus is nearly going out of date. Sweet chilli hummus. Obviously, hummus is one of those things that it's small amount, it's okay for you, but it is quite high in fat. So, I don't have, like, I'll probably have just like a couple of spoonfuls of that um and then some carrots so i just literally cut up some carrot sticks um and yeah that's just quite a reasonably healthy snack and i think that will fill a hole you know um gonna have my tea and then i'm gonna run a bath and just have a little bit of pamper and self-care and yeah then that's that's tuesday done with I i'm probably gonna say bye now you know guys unless I feel like I want to show you my bubble bath, which probably I'm not going to do. Um, and yeah, I'll pick up the camera tomorrow and probably end the vlog tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I feel like, what do I need to do? Oh, I'm actually filming my autumn decorate with me tomorrow. So I need to go to Asda in the morning and pick up some bits because I'm going to do some baking. So I might vlog in the morning. We shall see. But God, I'm so nasally. I need to go and get this cold and flu tablet before I forget. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Now to excuse the oversized sunglasses this morning. Um, I have just woken up and I look a hot mess. So yeah, sunglasses are going on. It's actually really sunny outside. So I do have a reason to wear sunglasses this morning. Sorry, I'm moving around. Maybe I should just stand still. Um, I'm at Mitchell's currently. I just thought I'd pick up the vlog because I didn't actually vlog yesterday. I went out with my mum and we filmed a come shop with me and I went out for lunch as well with my grandma. So yeah, I was actually filming yesterday but not for the vlog. I couldn't really film. You know what I mean? Like you can't vlog for this when you're filming a come shot of me because that's a whole separate video. So that's really exciting. That's coming next week. But I just thought I would um, remember to vlog this morning because I don't feel like I have enough footage of vlogging yet. So I'm like, right, I need to finish off the vlog today. I'm actually um, going to go to the shops now and get some stuff because I'm doing my autumn decorate video this afternoon. I'm going to do some baking in that. So that's going to be really fun. But yeah, just thought I'd sort of like vlog this morning and um, have a little bit of a catch up and stuff. Um, oh my God, I've I'm gonna stew. Anyway, I need to get out of here and go home and see my kitties. But yeah, that is me this morning, just at Mitchell's. Oh my god, we went out for food last night, honestly. <laughs> we are always out for food. I feel like it's just the norm, isn't it, at the beginning of your relationship? Like you just constantly go out to eat and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up the camera and tune back in when I look a bit more presentable. Good afternoon, guys. So, I finally remembered to pick up the vlog again. So the last time you probably saw me was at Mitchell's this morning. It's literally like, where is my phone? It's right in front of me, what an idiot. It's 1.22 now. So I went and did my errands. I had to return some stuff. Um, I'll tell you what I actually returned. I ordered some bits off Opoly. I kept one of the um, gym sets, but I also ordered like a tracksuit that had these new in tracksuits. I ended up returning it. Like I loved the fabric, the quality was insane as always. Like I always say this with Opoly. One second guys. Um, well, obviously it's not Opoly, it's Bowen Tea. Um, but obviously same brand sort of thing. But yeah, as I was saying, the quality was amazing. But do you when you just try something on and you're like, am I actually gonna wear this? Because I bought it as a sort of tracksuit that I could maybe wear in the autumn winter months with a coat and it was just one of them that I tried on and thought, do you know what? I don't love love it and it was quite expensive. So anyway, I ended up returning that. Uh, so I had to do it at Asda because you have to pay at the post office for Opoly returns. Whereas if you do it at Asda, it only takes one pound off your refund. So that's obviously a lot better, especially because it comes in a box. So yeah, anyway, did that and then nipped into Asda to get my bits. Oh wait, one second. I think this is the guy that um, is doing my window screen. Hello. Hi, I'm Lawrence Ben from Nottingham Windscreen. Oh, hiya. I can be with you in about 20 minutes if that's okay. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, all right. See you soon. Okay, bye. Sorry about that guys, um, as you probably heard there, I am getting a new window screen today. I've been waiting for him to call me all day, like I just haven't heard from him. And I was like, am I getting a new window screen? Am I not? So I thought I'll ring him if, you, if I haven't heard from him by two. And obviously, just heard from him nearly at half past one. So that's good, good job I'm in. Does anyone else find that a little bit of a pet peeve, like something that they just find a little bit annoying when you sort of say to someone, yeah, I work at home, but then they don't give you a time. I mean, I probably should have pushed for a time, but he was 
literally like I don't know what time I'm going to be there which I just thought oh it's a bit annoying because then you can't nip out hence why I nipped out this morning because I thought well he's not rang me or anything so anyway yeah getting my window screen done very shortly I hope I've got the right money out for him does anyone else ever worry about that like you feel like you heard the price right but then you think oh my god did I get, did I get the right amount right anyway guys he's coming to sort my window screen out soon I am just about to make some lunch because I'm filming my autumn decor video very, very soon. And as I was saying, I nipped it as this morning just to get some bacon bits. I'm going to make, I don't know if to make apple muffins or an apple cake. Making my lunch as I was saying. Just thought I'd show you these guys. They are the Sweet Smoky Strips from Corn. I feel like I've banged on about these enough for you guys to probably already know what they are but just in case you've never heard me spoke about them um yeah the sweet and smoky strips by quart and they are basically for to show you one my hands are clean by the way they basically look like this they almost look like chicken like breaded chicken pieces i have three of them um they are high in protein low in saturated fat are they vegan i'm not too sure if they are vegan you know let me look on the back of the ingredients where are the ingredients Oh no, they're not, in, they're not vegan because it does have milk in. Um, yeah, you can't have milk, can you, if you're vegan? But, oh my god, they're meat-free, obviously, but they're insane. They are so good. Like, I'm not obviously a meat-free person. You know, I do eat meat, um, but where I can, you know, I will try and make changes. And honestly, I don't even feel like you can get a good chicken alternative to these. Like, these are better than, like, breaded chicken pieces, and they're a lot healthier, too. So... Yeah, genuinely, these are just insane, and they are three for five pound an ounce at the moment. So yeah, that's where I get them from. Just in case you wanted to know that as well, because Morrison's don't sell them. I've never seen them at Sainsbury's either. Um, but yeah, let me know where else you can get these from if you can get them anywhere else. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've just had my lunch. It is half past two now. The window screen guys have been and gone. It literally took them 30 minutes. But do you know like when people are here and obviously I was going to crack on my filming. It almost felt like I couldn't start my filming until they left. Just because even though there was outside on the front, you know, doing my car and stuff, I just almost felt like... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just like to get on with my filming when I know. I haven't got to go and see to anyone or see to anything or I've not got anything interrupting me. So yeah, anyway, now that the window screen guys have gone, I feel like I can finally get on with work. So as I was saying, I'm actually filming my autumn home decorate with me. Wait, it's actually not going to be called that. It's going to be called like autumn clean and decorate with me yeah that's a good that's got a good ring to it but yeah before i actually film that and whilst i'm sat here i actually just thought i would share with you what i do to prep for these sorts of videos because because i don't know i just thought it might be a little bit interesting i guess when you watch these videos you just see the final product and don't necessarily see what goes into creating these videos and i know when it comes to my content and shooting filming content for youtube certain videos i really like to sit down plan and almost give them a structure um i feel like when you do a haul a haul's pretty straightforward you might just sit down and film like your chatty bit where you show everything out of the bag and then you'll include your try-ons whereas videos like this for example you know a come decorate a come decorate what am i about a autumn decorate with me i feel like i like to get a notepad get a pen and just sort of write down in bullet points what I want in that video and how I want it to like come across and be presented if that makes sense um this is what a lot of youtubers do like it's not a hidden secret or anything you know when you watch youtubers videos and they seem you know so flowing and just well produced it is because you know you'll sit down and write right I want a shot of my cup of tea I want a shot of this and then, I mean, I don't know if everyone write it down like I do, but I like to write it down because then once I filmed that segment of the video, I can highlight it and I know I've got it. Um, and it just means that when you then come to editing, I feel like I'm losing my voice here. <coughs> oh God, I feel like this tea is cold as well, so I can't even drink that to clear my throat. But it just then means that when you do come to edit your video, you're then not sat at your laptop thinking, oh my God, I really needed this shot here, or I could have done with that shot. So I just feel like if you just give yourself half an hour planning um, and just, yeah, having a little bit of a brainstorm and a think about what it actually is that you want to capture in your videos. Like I said, it's not every single video you do this for, but 
you know the videos that are longer and the videos that you want to be more aesthetically pleasing i just feel like this really helps so for example i've put like here shot of hot chop cream sprinkles obviously with it being an autumn video i do want to make it like super cozy and cute um so i'm gonna go all out and have a hot chocolate today um, and then like for example i put like shot of kitty shot of candles and then like i've literally just put like intro time lapse of cleaning then back to vlog style then time lapse of baking and like i said just by doing that i can see everything i want on the video and i can ensure that i get and shoot all of that content because obviously you know when you do all these cute aesthetic shots at the beginning they are just shot in little bursts and then you like compile them together so yeah just thought i'd give you a little insight into that just I don't know i just thought i'd tell you because um you know when you watch youtube videos sometimes you don't realize how staged they are as well like that is part of youtube and also with vlogs a lot of vlogs you watch like i'm not saying they're staged in the sense where people are acting some youtubers are actors actresses <laughs> um for example with a vlog i feel like with vlogs you can get very lost with vlogs because unless you have a day planned somewhere where it's just easy for you to pick up your camera and you've got loads to show and talk about and do you get what i'm saying like that's an easy day to vlog whereas if you are at your home it's a case of thinking mm, what am i going to be able to vlog about at home it's going to be interesting do you understand what i'm saying so then sometimes you might be like right so for this vlog i'm going to just have a general chit chat with the camera and then just talk as you would. Um, I then might show a Primark haul that I picked up. I then might go out for a Costa. So like you'll write things down to, again, like I said, give the vlog some structure and it also allows you to know that when you put your vlog together, it's gonna to be quite interesting. You're doing things. You're not just sat having a hour conversation to the camera like I would be here now because then that's not really a vlog. Does this make sense? Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I need to get on because time really is getting away with us today. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to Mitchell's, like I said, later. So I might, do you know what it is, guys? Mitchell's not really one to be on the camera. You know, I got him in a vlog, oh, I think it was like a month ago now. But that was unknowingly, like, he didn't know I was putting that in the vlog. I obviously asked him and just said, babe, like, I'm going to put that little bit where the camera was still rolling in the vlog. Is that okay? And he said, okay. But if I have my camera out, he will hide or just not want to be in it. And like I said, that's fair enough. I completely respect that. So sometimes for me, it's quite hard to vlog around him because he doesn't really want to be in the, in the shot, you know? So yeah i don't really know what i was getting at but yeah I was, that's what it was i was saying i'm going to his later so probably we'll pick up the vlog there we're making sausages and mash and peas tonight and it's just actually messed me saying laura i cannot watch the football tonight so i might take my laptop around and do some editing um anyway right we'll catch up with you in a bit guys 